ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever, and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the stud bolts and the front wheels. Lift the front of the vehicle. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. To change the discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you'll need to remove the wheels to gain full access. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. Ask someone to press the brake pedal. Using a socket wrench and a T40 socket, release the holding screws on the disc. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the back of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Loosen the brake caliper. To do this, use a 13mm spanner and remove the slight pins. Sometimes you have to stop the lock nut from turning by holding it with your fingers and with a 15mm spanner. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. Remove the caliper. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using a cable you have already attached. You can now remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the bolts and the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. Finish by removing the screws that fasten the disc on so that you can completely take it off. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush. Okay, guys, if we can share this video with you and help you save a lot of money, is also thanks to our partner, Mr. Otto. So, if you want to support us and buy the parts for this operation, visit their website. Okay, back to work. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take the new brake disc. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. With a flathead screwdriver, remove the noise dampening shims. 
using a wire brush, clean the brake calibre mount around the area where the pads will be placed. This will facilitate their installation. Reassemble the brake disc calibre mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand. And finishing with a socket wrench and an 18mm socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Place the new noise dampening shims on the caliper. You need to check the proper sliding of the slide pins and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with new ones. Take the new brake pads. Coat the end of the new pads with copper grease. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the slide pins. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Don't forget to withdraw the electric cable string that you attach to hold the caliper. Clean both sides of the disc with brake cleaner and a piece of tissue to remove the grease deposited when installing the new pads. Start your vehicle and pump the brake pedal to bring the pads closer to the disc. Once the pads are closer to the disc, press the brake pedal again. Finish tightening the screws holding the disc. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.